Now let's look at exercise four on page uh, 42. And again, following um, the same sort of process, um, looking at the ECG from left to right, um, we look at lead two. Do we see ST elevation there? Well, you know, there might be a millimeter here. Might be. Uh, do we see ST elevation in lead three, though? No. Do we see it in AVF? Uh, no, we don't see it there. And remember that um, if you do see ST elevation, it has to be seen in at least two anatomically contiguous leads. So we do not have an acute inferior wall MI here. Now, if we look at the um, anteroceptal leads, V1 through V4, do we have ST elevation in V1? Uh, that would be no, or it would certainly be a squinter. In V2, yes, we have uh, baseline here, we have the J point there. V3, we have the baseline here, and we have ST elevation, J point there. V4, yes, we have baseline here, J point here, so we have ST elevation. Now, so we know we have an anterior wall MI. We can't say anterior septal because we really can't. It's, I wouldn't say there's ST elevation in V1, uh, but it's kind of academic anyway. Anterior wall MI, we, we know we have that. Now, let's see if we have uh, lateral wall involvement as well. Well, there's definitely ST elevation in V5. Uh, is there ST elevation V6? I would say uh, probably not, but might be a millimeter. Um, there's no ST elevation in uh, lead one, and there's no ST elevation in AVL. So what we have is, is an anterior wall MI. Um, is there a lateral wall MI as well? No, it doesn't meet the true criteria, but you know, there's a good chance the patient may be headed down that path. So we definitely uh, know we have an anterior wall MI. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this is you, if you recall the criteria for uh, myocardial infarct is, um, you know, ST elevation for acute injury pattern, um, deep symmetrically inverted T waves for ischemia, and pathological Q waves for necrosis. And if you look at leads 2, 3, and AVF, we have a pathological Q wave. It's a, the depth of it is at least 25% of the height of the QRS. We have a pathological Q wave here and a pathological Q wave here. So this is a patient with an old inferior wall. Oops. Um, this is a patient with an old inferior wall MI. I'm going to try to write this here. And um, an acute anterior wall MI. Right. The old is not so critical in terms of uh, reporting to uh, the, the, the person or the agency that's taking over responsibility for your patient, um, but the acute um, anterior wall MI is a critical piece.